Items of history like this are priceless. Uh, you cannot put a value on your history, your tradition. My name is Mohammed Bashir bin Shaban. I'm, uh, I'm from Libya. Um, I lived most of my life in London. I'm the first Libyan to be licensed uh, as a lawyer of the Supreme Court of England and Wales. So we're here today um, looking at columns that belong to Leptis Magna and they were taken about 200 years ago by King George IV of Britain. They've been here in the Royal Park, the Queen's Garden, for a, a very long time. And so we're here today really to have a look at it and to try to persuade Her Majesty to return them to the Libyan people. Well, this is part of the Libyan people's history and heritage and DNA. These items are over 2,000 years old from the Roman Empire. The people of North Africa and the people of Libya need to know how they got where they are and where they came from. And this is part of the history, part of the story, part of the DNA. My starting point is to speak to the Queen's lawyers and explain to them what international conventions on repatriating cultural heritage say. Hopefully there will be a dialogue between us and hopefully we can come up to a compromise. I've already successfully repatriated items back to Subrata and to Cyrene, Shahat. I have a message for my British colleagues, the Queen's lawyers. The time of the empire has elapsed and the world has moved on and there are international conventions saying items of cultural value have to be returned to their people. The Libyan people should understand that there are items of their culture and their history in European and foreign countries which don't belong here, the Libyan people. And I think they should lobby their government, lobby the Ministry of Culture, say to them, look, negotiate with the British, negotiate with the French, return our valuable items, because this doesn't belong in the Queen's Garden, this belongs in Homs, in Leptis Magna site. So as a Libyan who's lived in Britain for a long time, I think it's not only a professional duty, but it's also a personal duty of mine to try to uncover these items of heritage. And I think there's a big Libyan community in the UK who can support in this, either through the media, through funding, through campaigning, through speaking to their members of parliament. These are Libyan treasures. Uh, they don't belong here, they, they belong in Libya.